think I think we're on now. So, uh, like I said, good afternoon, everyone, and it's really a, a, an opportunity to be here. I want to appreciate all our panelists, uh, who almost all of them are my are my professors. Uh, Professor Dugar, uh, can see Professor Dugar there. Uh, Professor Duroni, um, Dr. Patrick Jute Ote, and of course. Um, uh, the, the person that we're um, celebrating today, Professor Toy Rappo. Um, yeah. uh, I wanted to quickly say that my, my experience with uh, Professor Toy Rappo has been a very astronomically uh, a great blessing. Um, I did my undergrad at the University of Jos, and um, he my first publication ever, um, he literally took me under his wings, and then I, I got that through. So I'm, I'm really um, privileged to have professors that are... Um, really forward thinking and really looking forward to uh, building, you know, um, uh, young ones. Um, today, we will be taking on different things uh, from, from the review to the panelists that will be having presentation about the book. And I just want to say thank you for being here. I also want to say thank you to our partner, um, um, HowlRound, for offering us the platform to live stream. And then I hope that we have a great time. Um, congratulations to Professor Toy Rappu once again, and of course to the, uh, to the entire editorial team. Really looking forward to having a great time with you today. I'll hand it back to Makodi um, um, for the next line of action. Thank you so much. We, we can't hear anything from Makodi. There's no sound. I can't hear you, my colleague. We can hear you in Lafia, in, in Makodi. You can hear us? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone here. Um, I, I know that the activities have been going on since uh, two o'clock in different forms. And this is uh, the period for the panelists. Um, I have only eight minutes, so I will try and, and, and keep to the eight minutes in the things that I want to say. Uh, it's a big challenge because uh, when you have known somebody like Tor for 40 years and you have to compress all of that to eight minutes, it's a big challenge, but I'll try. Uh, Professor Tor's Theater for Development Scholarship in Nigeria and Beyond is uh, what I'm talking about. But I, uh, let me begin, Tor, by saying happy birthday to you. Uh, it's good to be 60. Uh, it opens doors. It also tells you that you're getting old. So you have to, <laughs> to, to manage things between that age and this sweet 60 uh, that you have reached. Uh, as we say in Nigeria, the young shall grow. I think you have grown. So welcome on board. Uh, 
if I recall correctly, my first uh, meeting with uh, Professor Thor was way back in 1982 in a, a workshop on popular theater or theater for development in a Katsinala. I think Thor was a, a student in the College of Education at the time. And he was one of the very many students who were asked to be part of the workshop by the late uh, Tahura. It, it was uh, an introduction to, if you like, a strange theater practice for these young men and women who were in the College of Education. But I think it is uh, that strange encounter that has grown Professor Thor into what he is today. Uh, in, in, in moving them away from the classroom into uh, communities, it was the beginning of a lot of experiences for them. And this was uh, the beginning that was championed interestingly by the Benue State Council for Arts and Culture. Benue State, at the time of organizing this workshop, it was the second edition. The first one had been done in 1981. And for the Arts Council to become the hub of popular theater, community theater practice in Benue State at the time was a new uh, uh, foray for them, as well as all the workshop participants. But I saw a lot of enthusiasm and interest on the part of the many students who were there, including Tor, when as a facilitator, we, we shepherded them into communities, Wombo, uh, Igura, Napae. They were looking at this and, you know, as students, the usual thing is, what the hell am I doing in these communities when I should be studying books and all of that? But I think today he will also tell his own encounter of how students reacted to him in his many, many uh, community <laughs> theatre practices in the University of Jos and elsewhere. And that's what has made him who he is. And I think that at the time we were ending that workshop in 1982, I had seen the enthusiasm and I was asking myself, who amongst all of these students would take this experience forward? I had no way of knowing who Theater for Development would choose among them. It's not about who would choose Theater for Development. My position always is that TFD chooses who it wants. You don't choose Theater for Development. Those who choose Theater for Development don't last. But if you are chosen by TFD, it's a live engagement. And I'm, I'm saying that Tor was chosen by Theater for Development. And his experiences show that it isn't a one-off. It was not just for 20 years, but it's a long-term thing. And when all of these encounters uh, was for me the first stage, the second stage of my knowing Professor Tor was our engagement together in the Nigerian Popular Theatre Alliance. The Nigerian Popular Theatre Alliance is uh, a national NGO that has operated in the last 33 years. And its own work has been mainly to take theatre practice into communities. But what was interesting for us and also for Tor is the fact that it was bringing together both the academic practice and the community practice as a learning platform for everyone who was engaged in that, in that process. And for, for my own relationship with Thor within that period, I saw him, one, as somebody who was ready to learn. Secondly, he was playing the role of an administrator because Thor was the coordinator for the Middle Bear Zone. NPTA has zoned the country into six uh, places, six zones, and each one had a coordinator. So Tor was learning administration, 
He was learning theater practice. He was learning where the meeting points between the academia and community practice lay. And I think those were the, the mentoring processes that he was going through. Those of us who were leading the practice, we were also learners. I think one of the things is that a theater, popular theater or theater for development does not have an everlasting guru. The guru is also a learner. So when I hear people say, this is a guru of TFD, he's a learner of TFD as well, because every experience is different and you learn from that. The, the, the communities humble you because the knowledges that abound there are usually the, the knowledges that the elite may want to discountenance, but that's what makes the practice rich and what the, 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 they're doing and all the things that we go to. Uh, one of the, the things also was the practice that canvases ownership for development to be meaningful and to be participatory. Paul knows this very well from his many years of encounter. And as we crisscross the country from the north to the south, east and west, these were the things we were promoting, the things we were seeing, and the many things that came out of it. Later on, talk could say, for example, in the practice of theater for development, we were everywhere. And I think one of his articles talks about theater for development everywhere. It's his contribution to my first shrift uh, when I turned 60. So I think that Thor has gone everywhere, whether it is within just the communities there, different parts of Nigeria, or going to present seminar papers and being part of the practice uh, in different parts of the world, whether it is Canada, UK, Germany, US, and so on. Uh, this is a seasoned person in the practice of theater for development or uh, socially engaged theater, uh, as it is also called now in the new nomenclature. But one of of the stages of thought development, which I found very interesting, is that the mentorship from Kasinala, from Nigerian Popular Theatre Alliance, from within the university uh, arena, materialized when he founded Yarak. Uh, Yarak, I think, is a, a youth, a adolescent uh, reflection and action center. When he founded Yarak, it was for me a point of saying, can I mobilize all of these ideas to serve one section of the underserved millions of Nigerians? And that section of the underserved was youth, adolescents, and women. And that's what Yarak has focused on in many parts of uh, Nigeria, working with the youth, working with women, working with adolescents, whether it's on sexual reproductive health, whether it is to do with uh, substance abuse and so on. And it's been a rich digest of activities by, by Yarak, which was founded by, by, by Tor. But another point of interest for me is that Yarak is a platform for training young people to understand their issues, to understand the mechanism and methodology of reclaiming themselves from the different challenges they face, whether it is drugs, whether it's sexual abuse or whatever. And I, I, I think therefore that uh, the everywhere that Thor has gone materializes in Yarak and his academic practices. And, and when Today, I speak on the occasion of such a protege at 60. Uh, and I hear other people extolling his, his hard work, his excellence, and so on. I, I tell myself, I must be happy that I sow the seed that did not wither. That seed 
has grown, multiplied, and is growing more seeds. So, Tor, thank you for being a good protege. Thank you for growing others. And, and I do know that you will do more. Uh, I want to conclude with a few observations. One, the history of theater for development, when it is written in Nigeria, it will not be complete if the Benue State Arts Council is not part of that history. And if the very intellectuals from Benue who champion and lit the torch, 1981, 1982, when it was still in the gestation period, in addition to ABU, uh, that history must recognize the role of the Arts Council. And I do wish and hope that Arts Councils all over this country will think of reintegrating the practice of theater for development in their activities because is a combination of culture and this new practice and academia. And I think the Arts Council is not simply a forum for dance. It's a forum for using culture to explore what development can do for the ordinary persons of each state in this nation. And I would, I would wish that that's the direction to go. Secondly, NPTA as a non-governmental organization has added value and indeed pushed the boundaries of theater for development, including the performance mode, research, which it took to the arena of policy. NPTA has done a lot of policy research and that policy research arena, I think is what a lot of us have not really engaged. When we talk about socially engaged theater or theater for development, our notion of the theater playing only to rural communities is actually outdated now. We must shift the boundaries of operation and performance beyond the rural communities in this country. The policy arena is a rich area for us to play at and to change things because no no matter how much we talk to the ordinary persons in the rural communities, if there is no policy component, those things don't work. And I, I, I'm saying that instead of talking to the oppressed all the time, we must target the oppressors because that's when the synergy and the change can happen. It's a tall order, but it is doable. Uh, secondly, I also think that while one says that this is possible, I, I, I want to, to sound an alarm. One is that those of us who are in theater for development or social and socially engaged theater, we seem to be dancing on the spot now, on one spot. I read a lot of articles on theater for development and I think a lot of the academics are rehashing old ideas. Where are the new frontiers of theater for development? Where is the digital use of theater for development? What is wrong with theater for development operating in cyberspace? Is it not possible to hold a workshop and interrogate issues in the digital space? My answer is yes, it is possible. We need to explore that. We need to explore the policy arena. We need to explore a whole lot of issues that we haven't paid attention to. And, and these are the challenges. Uh, people like Tor have done a lot, uh, but there are a lot more to do by younger people. Rough, I, I rough. Would, how many minutes? I have, I'll finish in a minute or two. You have run out of time. Oh, really? Okay, let me conclude. I, I want to, to, to say that, Thor, you have done well, but let me ask one question. I ask this question against the background that in five months' time, I start the process of retirement from the university. And my question is, 
will you champion, will you continue to champion theater for development, even as, as you are engaging new things? Or will you allow the light to dim on theater for development? And this question applies to every practitioner who is still active. Will the light for theater for development dim? Or will Tor and the others fire the practice on? Thank you. We can't hear you. Can you unmute your, your mic? We can't hear you. Your mic is on mute. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay. I expect you to come to serve as a reviewer at the public presentation of this celebration of this day. Birthday or whatever. I was stuck between talking about this person. Please, if you are connected online, just mute your system. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 what is happening um I, I think it's the i think it's the network who is expected to speak now uh it's um professor duga is actually reviewing the book right now okay but his microphone is uh is off because we can see his name. That's right. So I think he's connected via the um, the CHS, um, their, their own internet over there, their own Zoom account. Um, uh, let, let me troubleshoot this. Let me reach out to them, let's see. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Uh, there might be some echo, but we will try. 
We used to do this with the vice chancellor many years ago, finding technical solutions to issues, even from our days as students. So this book is about eight years in the making. It's a collaboration of six editors with a whooping 53 chapters structured into six sections spread over 789 pages. The authors pay tribute to the person of Tom Balaf, Joe Yerao, and his artistic and scholarly outputs, as well as engage in the general discourse on the nature, practice, and social import of the arts. The authors are a healthy combination of veteran and fledgling scholars. The content is calibrated as follows. Part one unveils personal takes from different perspectives, tributes, an interview and reflections on the person of the celebrant. Part two covers aesthetics and thematic studies of Yoruba's dramaturgy. Part three carries the crux of the book in its applied and doing theater, yes. social transformation, arts, and change communication. Part four holds the theater for development, community organizing, and participatory theater discourse. This is the, the core of the practice that the celebrant has engaged in. Part five ventures into the broader issues of culture, democracy, and theater in Africa. The last part, part six, is the icing <coughs> over the cake with critical discourse in communication, dance, visual arts, and performance aesthetics. This well-organized arrangement also touched on every re everything relevant to the life of the celebrant. From the introduction by Ademiji Beko to the concluding chapter by Adakole Oklobia, whose life on earth we also concluded with a fitting burial yesterday. This book marks a tribute of many songs. It is a celebration of mentorship. So being a product of many mentors and a mentor to many others. It pays tribute to the institutions that raised him up from government secondary school, Kasina Ala, the College of Education, Kasina Ala, the University of Joss, all public institutions that have faced, that have all faced challenges, threatening to derail their ability to produce other Europeans in the future. Issues of development and invariably, you can stand, you can put it on the side. Hold it this way. Issues of development invariably take the bulk of the book and fittingly, fittingly so. Scholars have rightly spotted the social engagement part of the celebrant to be the core of his contribution to the arts in what one of the writers calls Europoisk aesthetics. Those of you wanting to do master's degree, maybe you will take it from there. A nature seems to have been created in the life of Europe, which delicately balances the individual and the community, the scholarship and the practice, the arts and development, and organizing and change communication. Generally, the book is well edited and reads lucidly. A few of the chapters, especially those on performance laws, are accompanied by pictorial illustrations. Several personal tales add new angles to existing knowledge, but fresh perspectives have been brought up in the extensive contributions of the 71 writers and co-writers of the various chapters. A few errors can be detected if you take a supervisor's rule to run through the book, but these are negligible and can be corrected with new additions, but they do not 
significantly distort or reduce from the high quality work served in this book. This book, therefore, comes to add to the literature on the various things stated above. It definitely will make valuable contribution to institutional administration, theater scholarship, community organizing, social transitions and development in Africa. The propriety of its release at this time can only be applauded. From the current assignment of the celebrant as vice chancellor, it can be safely predicted that the recipe for another book is already being prepared or has already been prepared in the last two years and we should be ready for the oven in the next three years. Every institutional library needs this book. Individuals and communities need to absorb its content to learn to inspire children from Taraku to the top, from obscurity to global recognition as the celebrant has enjoyed. Once more, congratulations to the celebrant and to the celebrators, those who contributed, who worked out to get this book out, whose work is, has indeed immortalized the celebrant. Thank you for listening. Let's appreciate Professor. Hello. Can we appreciate Professor Ruzaduga again? Thank you. Thank you. Let me just make sure that you can see me. Prof, you can hear me. You have the floor. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. First, let me salute the celebrant of today. Let me salute Professor Tsoi Yoraku, the celebrant of today. And his better half, Dr. Benda Yoraku. Happy birthday to you and the entire family. It is my pleasure to join us all on this occasion of a colloquium and book presentation commemorating Professor Tso Joe Yoraku at 60. Let me also thank Professor Diron Ademiju Bepo and Dr. Tawu Afolabi for putting this together. Uh, Professor Tor Yoraku has been known to me for quite some time, but I believe it's also appropriate to salute the keynote uh, speaker. Professor August Steve Abba, who is known as the father of uh, theater for development or socially engaged theater in Nigeria. The history of uh, theater for development in Nigeria, of course, before now, let me also thank Professor Victor S. Duga, Dean of Postgraduate School at Federal University Lafayette. My own uh, participation here is to discuss 
the development of community organizing participatory theater in Nigeria. Let me say that uh, the headquarters of theater for development in Nigeria is very easily the Amodu Bello University in Zaria. And uh, most people may not know this, but I did start my career at the Center for Nigerian Cultural Studies of Amodu Bello University. Our center, of course, at that time was based in Kanu, which later became Gida Makama. And those who started the Theater for Development at the Amodu Bello University then included uh, Michael Etherton and Dr. Andrew Ohn. Uh, Michael Etherton was in the Department of English just before the Department of English, which also incorporated the theater program. Of course, Andrew Hon was also one of them. And some of the earliest uh, students at that time and those who had joined the service included uh, Yakubu Nasidi, Yowe Sahai, Ziki Kofu Rola, of course, uh, Professor Steve Abba, of course, Professor Lou Obafemi also was there at some point. And then, of course, the late Jeng Sokori and Sam Kafeo. Of course, uh, as uh, Professor Augusti Baba has mentioned, uh, the late Star Ahura of the College of Education in Katina Allah played a prominent role, even at one of the earliest Santa conferences that were held. Now let's uh, connect all of this with uh, our celebrant of today, Professor Thor Yoraku, who also did his undergraduate studies at the University of Jos. I mean, yes, University of Jos. Of course, from uh, Zaria, a couple of people migrated, including Professor Yowe Sahai to Jos. And then of course, there was a uh, Sonny Oti, in the uh, University of Jos and uh, Professor Shamsuddin Amali. Of course, uh, the, the likes of Irene Aguloye was also uh, there. Now, out of all of these names that I've mentioned and who are all involved in the Theater for Development, Professor To Iyorak, who is celebrant of today, has actually extended the frontiers have not only engaged, you know, theater for development, but also as a, a part of uh, applied theater to actually having interventionist programs. And these interventionist programs has been mentioned here. You know, he's uh, put to good use his vast experience and has mentored many, many young theater scholars and made indelible imprints in the academia. And of course, in the founding and running of the Youth Adolescent Reflection and Action Center, Yarak, which uh, he started in Jos. Of course, I have always uh, been of the opinion that the uh, Benue State uh, Scholars of Theater, whether they are in theater for development or in general theater, and have included the late Professor David Carr, who was, of course, in the Department of English, Professor Ambassador Yowu Sahari Hai, and then uh, Professor Saint Gileka, and then uh, Professor Charity Angia, and of course, the President of Santa, Professor Doki Gowon. You know, all of these people have extended the frontiers of theater. Now, I have always been of the view that if you are in theater, you must also be part of what is going on in your community, in your university. And the Benue State scholars, some of whom I've mentioned, Harry Hai, St. Bileka, Charity Angia, Doki Gowon, and of course, our own uh, Toa Yoraku. This is not to forget, of course, Mr. Richard Sevende, who was uh, in the cultural center in uh, Makodi. Now what they have done is they've taken the theater into the administration and 
combine that also with the theater for development because i have always been of the view that whatever you do do not sit on the fence do not allow other people to come and run affairs for you you must be part of it you know if you're in the university system you must aspire to be dean of the faculty you must aspire to be deputy vice chancellor you must aspire to be vice chancellor if possible and if you look at some of the names that i've mentioned especially ambassador Harry Hai, Yowesa. Now, of course, he has uh, exemplified very strong uh, theater background from the time of his uh, publication on the Ahil uh, the, 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 the theater among the Benue. You will also see that he's gone beyond that. He's become a, uh, a minister, he's become an ambassador, and all of this still while promoting uh, theater, you know, which which he, which he has uh, done very well. So, of course, our own uh, Toy Yoraku, I remember at one time, apart from uh, starting the Yarak, he also did, of course, he made us with his own uh, ambition to be the governor of Benue State. And we all, uh, of course, tried as much as we could to support him, but anyway, he didn't become governor of Benue State, but he landed the prestigious position of being vice chancellor of Benue State University. Now, if you look at uh, what has gone on in Benue State University, then you will know that the theater people have actually captured the university administration there. I mean, <laughs> apart from uh, David Kaur, who has the English background, there was Charity Angia, and now, of course, uh, Professor To Europe. Now, to focus some attention now, since we have very few minutes, is to look at the Youth Adolescence Reflection and Action Center, Yara, which uh, Professor To Yoraku started, which is a not-for-profit organization that he headquartered in JOS. And the organization came into being at the end of uh, some funding project by the MacArthur Foundation. So he, he's not only gotten this in terms of participation of people in the theater, he's combined that with art, he's combined that with sports. And the purpose of this program is to support persons in their mid careers through certain projects which could develop or enhance their leadership skills and qualities. Some of the interventionist uh, positions as you know, focused on conflict prevention and peace building, education and advocacy, humanitarian aid, leadership and governance, reproductive health and HIV AIDS, research, documentation and information dissemination, and of course, uh, sustainable development goals, uh, transparency and accountability, and then youth entrepreneurship development initiative. Well, let me conclude here by saluting our ACE administrator who works with grassroots theaters interested in using art, theater, and sports, you know, to overcome violence and tensions that are inherent within the community and all of that. So here is wishing uh, our ACE administrator, Professor To Joe Iyoraku, a happy diamond jubilee, and to wish him and his wife and his entire family the very best of this celebratory season. I thank you all. Thank you very much, bro. Let's have a shape of the afternoon again. With the president of the Nigerian Academy of Letters. Thank you for your contribution, bro. Because of time, we will not take uh, the random tributes that put to people. I will just take one person. The first fan I see, the first thing I will speak for one minute. Going, going, gone. Kayode Ayemi. One minute. Mind for me. Camera on me. Thank you.
We're thinking in a random way. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, this is uh, this one I'm going to. And you know, we will be celebrating love, but we must also celebrate the power that has been behind love. This wonderful woman has, you know, it, it is not easy to be married as an undergraduate, but it is better right from school. And it is, I mean, it's not a wonderful union that God is And thank you, ma'am, for making this man who is to be. If your work, I know, I know what you've done. So I just want to thank everybody and join the rest of the world to celebrate with my brother and wish him very well. I know there are still a lot of things God is going to do. By the way, you've not seen this one yet. I'm sure maybe after his tenure, we will release it as a first matter. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. We have Professor Bibel, the Beruma online, and uh, Dr. Lai Fatsmei from PUK. A master to present me. I hope we do that now. Taiwo, I'm sure we still have a few more minutes. Yes, um, Professor uh, Miguel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, our fathers and mentors who are online and physically present to honor Professor Top. Um, I just spent a few lines which I'd want to speak to. We know he's the author of April 1421. And from the inspiration garnered from that text, I refer to Toyo Rapu as the good foreman and builder on the academic construction site. Through him, we see that the struggle for liberty is real in his works. And as we hold this event today, uh, the centrality of linking the digital and the analog where socially engaged theater is concerned becomes very real for us today. I believe that there is no gain saying the stretching of the frontiers as the speakers have told us here today. And so whatever liberational ethics we see in the first shrift, I have not read it, I believe will bear that forward looking arrow towards bridging the experiences in the past, the present ones, and how they would coalesce to help the young ones to take charge of their artistry as well as their citizenship. 
I believe that Toyorapo uh, is someone the people can regard as their own. Uh, I've experienced his work once, mainly in Jos. And as a good foreman, I see that that ever fecund script, April 1421, remains an insight into your apple's deep-seated consciousness. And as a celebrant today, I would not want the euphoria, you know, to cloud whatever he needs to do from this point. Because young people and their race consciousness matter to development because the tomorrow of young people is now. And so I join your family to wish you happy birthday. Um, the, the last speaker took it from my mouth really, that when you celebrate a man who has achieved a lot, just look beside him, not behind, look beside him and see that formidable woman who has been able to make things work, to make this man we are celebrating today a shining light. May you be 70, may you be 80, may you become a sanctuary in the sphere of this socially engaged theater. And may that development never elude our young people. Happy birthday, Prof. Msu Mishi. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Professor Mibe Eroma from the University of Abuja for your wonderful tribute. Um, next, we're going to take Associate Professor Sarah Loha, the Deputy Dean, Faculty of Arts, University of Georgia. Mr. Sarah, please, you have five minutes. Five minutes. Your time starts now. Yes, I'm here. Um, good evening, our dear celebrant and esteemed guests. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for this lovely evening. It's been quite an enriching session. And it is, it is indeed an honor to be asked to speak during this auspicious sister's birthday celebration of our dear friend, Professor Thor Iorapu, whom I have had the singular honor of knowing since 1989. Um, it was a very close knit circle in those early days and everyone knew the next person. And that was, that was extremely important in the practice of what we all refer to as theater. Um, within the context of what I'm going to talk about this evening, I want to say a special thank you and happy celebrations to Dr. Nena Yorap, because if she had not provided the enabling environment for him to thrive, he would not have become what he is today. So a double congratulations and a happy celebration to Professor Yorapu and to Dr. Mrs. Nena Yorapu. I have been asked to speak on 
doing theater in different models for one goal. It is indeed difficult to situate our celebrant under such a tight outline because in my estimation, right from the very early days, he took his foray into the theater from a different perspective, the productive entrepreneurial perspective, which a lot of us actually overlook, especially because we believe that being an entrepreneur or in the later terminology, being a theaterpreneur belongs only to the realm of the patent medicine retailer. However, in the 1990s, theater was beginning to gain its rightful place within the scheme of national attention, whereby it was being used to address and confront many issues affecting our daily existence as inhabitants of a third world nation, devolving away from the strictly performing definition of an alawada or the comedian, Baba Salah. It was the era of the single mind mindset where theater in the mode of theater for development was being used to address developmental issues that a lot of us were shying away from. Practitioners, and I tend to refer to them as pioneers, people like uh, Professor Abba, Professor Oni, and in, the, in a younger mode, Professor Yorapu. Like our celebrant, they have been in the trenches using theater to educate, entertain, and highlight urgent issues deserving of attention. I know for a fact that his organization, Yarak, was in the forefront of using theater to address the then dreaded HIV AIDS. And it was indeed exciting times when you see our celebrant with his famed knapsack hung on his back and you knew for sure that he was on the move. And you know, in those early days, owning a laptop was a status symbol that would put you in the mode of a bourgeoisie. And he owned one. And when I confronted him about this, he said, and I quote, it is simply to make my work easier. In the fourth of development, he was in the forefront using theater as a means of elucidating and clarifying issues around our development as a nation coming out of the throes of a military dictatorship that civil society organizations, including Yarak, were in the forefront to see to his demise. More importantly, I would posit the fact that in those early days, the one major model that our dear celebrant popularized was the model of sourcing for grants to enable one work seamlessly and effortlessly with partners that gave the much needed financial means to work. I would say that in this region and even to some extent on the national level, Professor Yorapu, single-handedly popularized the then nascent MacArthur Foundation through the groundbreaking work that he did with them. Again, we refer to the base that made this popular. It was the theater. Using the theater, he has also trained a generation of future leaders and academics who are significantly holding their own in their different areas of calling. This first script, is a strong testament to this. I would conclude that the outgoing 60 years have been years of fruitful endeavors and brilliant entrepreneurship using that singular ship we all refer to as theater, but which visionaries like our celebrant have elevated to an indelible part of our existence, making theater relevant in all areas of endeavor. We are eagerly looking forward to the years ahead. And who knows, perhaps our celebrant will be in the forefront of a new generation of leaders that our dear country so desperately needs. Happy years ahead, Professor Yorapu. And may God continue to strengthen you. Thank you.
Professor Sarah and I seem to be having some technical issues. Ask her whether she is online again. Are you online? No, she, she's not. She's not online. Um, we are almost at the end of this session. I'd love to have um, Dr. Lohas, but we just go right on. And the next item is the response. By the celebrant. Response by the celebrant. I'm not sure. I want to give you a wide shot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Before the central response, I'm going to take some good messages from our distinguished guests. I would like to call on my vice chancellor, Professor Kanko Ishaya, for his good message. the executive order of the president here aptly represented um, by the chairman, the vice chancellor of the Federal State University, members of uh, the University Council here present, University Senate, our senior professors and our colleagues that have joined online. It is a great privilege and honor for me to, to stand this uh, afternoon to say a goodwill message on behalf of the Council, Senate, management, staff, and students of the University of Jersey. I, I believe that if I take a census, uh, and I'm going to do that. That all staff of the University of Jones that are here present, and all everyone that has, that is actually a great Joseph, to please stand up. Please stand up. Whether you have you have been a student of the University of Jones. Oh, you have come from Georgia, and you are... So, uh, thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, we are going to rename the English State University, with your permission. <laughs> um, as you can see, I believe that more than half that are here seated today are coming to celebrate a great man in the person of Professor Otto. Indeed, he has been a great man. I have not had the opportunity of looking at the book, and probably because of my area of specialism. Even if I had looked at the book, perhaps there are a lot of things that I would not actually understand. But I think Professor Duga 
made an excellent uh, review of the book. And a lot of great speakers that have spoken about the book and also about the man, Professor Joe, uh, Todd Joe Rabbit. Having said that, I, I have the privilege and honor to say a word about, about Professor Todd. There are a lot of people who, who have talked about having had an engagement and knowing Professor Todd for probably over 60 years. But I have the, the privilege and honor of uh, knowing Professor Todd. I think about 13 years ago. And even at, during that period of 13 years ago that I met him, we started work and probably decided, probably discovered as if we were twins, even though he's a senior, he's a, he's a, he's a senior brother, that we have known ourselves for over 50 years. Of course, he knows himself for over, for over 60, 50 years because he's 60 today. I'm not yet 60. We are following very closely. But we have worked together very closely. And since then, I have I've learned to know a few things about Professor Toh. Professor Toh is without a doubt the most courageous mentor and leader I have ever met. He's a compassionate and humble person. Indeed, Professor Toh represents a man that I want to be. Um, Prof is one that that I know and I've tested that believes that the sky is too wide for every star to shine. And that is one of the reasons why he's a great mentor. I have benefited from that significantly. And I would say, without any contradiction, that perhaps I'm here today as the Vice Chancellor of the University of Dallas by the leadership and the mentorship that Professor Thor actually demonstrated. I will never forget that on the 10th of September 2018, when the position of Deputy Vice Chancellor were to be appointed in the University of Justice. We didn't know. And when the Vice Chancellor and the Floor of Senate nominated first Professor Thor and second Professor Tanko and myself. I was angry for a microphone to ensure that I stepped down for Professor Thor. But he grabbed the microphone for me. And when he took the microphone, to the greatest surprise of members of Senate in the university, Professor Thor said he was stepping down for myself. That was when I became the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academy. Uh, perhaps the opportunity that, that I had to be close to management and also learn a little bit about management. And by the grace of God, today I'm the Vice Chancellor. And you know, when you have that, that hat, Professor Thor stepped for me as deputy vice chancellor, but he became a vice chancellor before me. And that is what mentorship is all about. I can go on and on. In fact, we are more or less like, uh, not even more or less, a 
online. We are brothers. And that is why, for example, we came and you can see when he holds his wife on the right hand side and hold her on the left hand side. <laughs> that is to show how very, very closely we are. He, he did not invite Jimmy Joseph for this occasion. He did not even invite me. I did not know I was going to be here until someone whispered to me and I said, I was in Makuja trying to address one of one thing or the other, and uh, some of my colleagues were already here yesterday. And I called him yesterday and I said, Oh, if you are celebrating your 60th birthday and you didn't invite us. And he said, No, you know, it's uh, the birthday was yeah, so months ago, and I just wanted to do this. The reason why I'm saying this is Professor Thor has sent an invite to the University of Jones. I can assure you that this hall will have been too small for people from the University of Jones. That is the value that we place on this man that we celebrate today. We are proud and we are privileged you know, to talk to him. And of course, Every successful man, there's always a woman behind the success. Besides, sorry, not behind, besides. Besides the success. Sure, if you, if you go through the pages of that book, there must be a number of pages that you have captured that I believe. Most of the writing should you would have been doing with this for the man. The wife will be there, you know, uh, helping to draw the teeth and the eyes. I like the speech of uh, the keynote speaker, and I just want to say one thing. Indeed, the digital world is here, and we must embrace it. I remember the first time I came to the computer science. I came closely the only thing that has to do with theoretical to practice was when computer science was actually forced to merge between two of us. And we started looking at how we can make an impact within, within their performances. And I was, I was privileged to actually have supervised a, a PhD candidate in uh, performance and also musicology in computer science. We begin to understand that we are close, that there are a lot of synergy. In fact, as far back as 2002, we organized a performance, an online performance, and I had a number of graduate students who did that. And people, students, everybody from all over the country were actually joining, you know, to, uh, to enjoy those performances. The technology is already here. We thank you, we thank God that uh, we are having all speakers from all over the world. So there's no reason why we cannot, you know, adopt the technology to change the narrative of how, you know, um, the theatre and performance is going to change. And Professor Joe actually championed one thing in the University of Joe. We currently have a collaboration with uh, the uh, German colleagues, the Gothe University in Frankfurt, the uh, Arsenal, uh, and the National Film Institute, National Film Foundation, and the University of Georgia. That the program, a master's program called uh, Film Culture and Archival Studies, that was actually championed by Professor Tom. Is now live and it's going on. As we speak, we have, I think, about three or six of our students currently spending six months in Germany, all paid for by PhD program. That was a program. And I also have the privilege of also working closely. I can tell you that uh, we are moving ahead. We are actually thinking of bringing technology and uh, uh, female culture, a 
kind of performances and competing to roll out a collaborative PhD program with our colleagues in Germany. I thought you would be proud of what you did. So I want to thank you, thank you all and uh, I'm bringing the presentations of the university. Uh, we hope that when you celebrate the next six years of that, we will also have the privilege of being here. The next six years, but that's our prayer for you. Madam, you are doing the sign of a cross. At that time, you will still be working. You will not be carrying by the gate of God. We are wishing you a very, very happy birthday today, and we wish many, many more happy returns. And I want to most sincerely thank all our colleagues that have traveled from just, you know, to witness this great occasion. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Permit me to quickly invite Associate Professor Sarah Loas for a presentation. He's going to be a brief version. My deputy team, go on. Go on. Go on. Um, allow me, by apologizing sincerely, I have issues with connectivity down. To talk about tour at 60, a classmate and activist. I'm utterly delighted to speak about him as the classmate. And the class of 88 theater arts was unique in many ways to make all in the class, but we all blended well. And um, Tor, or Joe, because he was his toothy smile and he was very artistic. He could dance, he could act. No wonder he led the class productions that we had. And he was a rallying point for us in terms of organization or coordination of classwork. So after graduation, Tor was reached out to. He was just sure that he was available. He just championed the cause of ensuring that the class had a reason to reunite. He was an advocate for oneness and fraternity. And a significant mm -hmm. case in time or in point was during the painful passing of one of us, Professor Samuel Kafio. That was indeed when the class. So Tor remained a pillar of strength and support to the family ever since. His sister Bernard and extreme good looks. Tor was never one to turn down a challenge. His persona professionalism and constitutional and the university is one I will not forget very quickly. of the reasons he has not moved on to live elsewhere outside of Joss, even though opportunities have come in several ways for him to do so. So he's truly, truly a teen city person. And of course the familiarity with social realities that plays plateau in the central discourse of the development of the country. So we're indeed very respectful of this. And my decision to join academics was premised in a way to how well he was doing. So he's been a constant through times of turbulence and crisis. And I would say he is very human human. He's undeniably fond of his classmates and commands the respect and attention. So you would call him embrace the odds and emerge top of our class in many significant ways. The professor, dean of the faculty, member governing council, governorship as parent at some point, and now vice chancellor. I'm struck by Tor's deep sense of compassion and the desire to do things right all of the time. These are stories to tell. 
and we have quite a number. He's always has a way, had a way of naturally putting himself in the place of someone in need. And he's very quick. Yes, always presenting a reward from the cleaners in the faculty, indigent students, and the general welfare matters to very significant and poignant moments of passing of colleagues and their family members. So reflecting on Tor's academic journey points us to his clear stance on issues of building and human development. I personally understood what volunteerism is when he was the director of the American Corner in the University of Jones, or participatory theater. Tor had a non-negotiable position or the need for people to collectively embrace their diversities for social and democratic change. His various scholarly works evidence this and the text April 14, 21, and motivation to remain involved in social activism as a social actor is very instructive. His great sacrifice for human development is indeed producing a pipeline of activities through his NGO Yara. His brilliant assessments of the Nigerian democratic landscape and believe in the obligation of those in power to give the right orientation that can liberate people or citizens from forces of oppression, issues surrounding this lack of support, and so on, of course, are highlighted in his works. It is a true reflection of how social crusader, because it's not a job for the faint-hearted, but for courageous, for the courageous. Uh, so the commentary of Tor's vast knowledge in applied theater and transformation cannot be told without appreciating the perspective he offers, that we are indeed all responsible for governance. Therefore, it is our duty to reframe the narratives on issues of representation or reverse policies of government by creating more engagements and access to freedom of expression which is not only an individual one, but also a collective one. We must also take a look at our cognitive and creative skills to advance our development. Reference to youths and women and rural communities and the social responsibility of the press or media in its works show that there is urgent need for inclusiveness and change in the competencies of our leaders and information must be disseminated objectively with poverty types and other forms of So our collective participation, despite our diversities, is key to entrenching good governance. Uh, we all agree that there is crisis in information and it's a danger to democracy. And that needs to be addressed as quickly as possible. So when he points out journalism and the functions of to be socially responsible, we clearly see that journalism is at risk. We are confronted with a different landscape of journalism. A lot of myths and disinformation. The news media produces fused into our ecosystem and this spells doom. So the media must not be seen to be detrimental to the efforts of good governance. Again, we are not looking critically at the lived experiences of women, especially those in politics. There's a need to counter women understanding of what their role is in politics and how the public perceives them. So media portrayal and public perception can be done through effective training and any, he has specific people he will call Mamana. Mamana. So you see that he actually has a passion to engage women so that the views and the perceptions that people hold about women in politics is changed for the better. And so the media that helps portray in this mm -hmm. and must be seen. Hello. 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 We are running out of time. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, Dr. Sarah, I was. Uh, so I'm so sorry. Uh, so finally, I would just like to say congratulations.
As you advance into the seventh floor, God keep you vigilant to work against evil and injustice. And may he punctuate your hard work with time. Of course, continue to drum up support for you and for the cause you promote, especially when your shadow is a tyrant. Happy belated birthday and more wins as they say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Associate Professor Sedelovas, classmates of this seminar. Let's appreciate that once again. Thank you very much. Quickly, let me recognize the presence of Sir Tena La, Deputy Director of ESS, Federal State Command. Thank you very much for presenting the State Director of GSS. Thank you for coming. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Because we are online, JFD on the context of technology, we have limited time. Please, the next set of people to come on, we will let's be conscious of time. It's my pleasure to come out to the invite. We have less than 20 minutes to end this session, and global audience can be with us. My pleasure to come to the invite for the presentation of the book. Professor Yawose Ari Ahe, a president. I'm going to leave you today. Professor, he's working on it. Okay, so we don't need to do Okay. Really? Okay, so let them change. No, they said that one is working. Uh,
Thank you very much. You are welcome. Yes. Um, the celebrant. Let me invite the celebrant now to make a worthy response to all that has happened. Our friends and partners online, they go up exactly 6 p.m. But we can continue up to 6 a.m. No, and the celebrant of the Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. No, I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, for, for being patient with us. I know we had some technical uh, issues here and there, but deeply appreciate the thoughts um, and the opportunity to, to be part of this. I want to say thank you to HowlRound um, for giving that platform to, to get this out there and, of course, to CSET. And, and thank you to all the props for, for your wonderful um um your, your wonderful remarks today I, I, like i said at the beginning um I'm, I'm a testament to the work um mentorship of professor toy rapu and deeply appreciate the opportunity to to work with him back in university of joss and continue to work with him congrats to the team um the editorial team for the great work um i know that's a lot of work pulling this together and thank you once again to everyone for being here and to all our professors and all the remarks deeply appreciate it and congratulations once again and happy happy birthday uh prof o over to you thank you to everyone who came online to be part of this we appreciate each and all of you of you thank you thank you and thank you god bless you all we continue please let me introduce you Okay, Professor Michael Sunday, or Jack, Joseph, Sawan, Sunday, 